This is CBS 47 Eyewitness News at 11 in high definition. Thanks for joining us. Dennis Valera here. Our top story, a woman in critical condition after a three alarm blaze this morning. It sparked in an alleyway on Terrace Avenue, close to Clinton Avenue and First Street. The fire spread to a duplex. Authorities and a witness say this might have been intentional. A terrifying way to wake up. Flames shooting at the roof of a duplex. Diana Garcia says she was about to post up a yard sale sign when she saw a woman with flames on her back. I jumped out of my car, I hosed her down, I called 911, and I, I, I was shocked because nobody else had called. The victim was taken to the hospital and her dog was treated at the scene. Around 40 firefighters responded to the blaze. The Fresno County Sheriff's Office says it started in an alleyway in the victim's makeshift home. From there, it caught on a nearby garage of the duplex, reaching the attic fast. Fresno Fire was able to put out the fire within a half hour. Fresno Fire saying it was a miracle. No one else got hurt. And that was the big challenge for us, uh, fire in the attic area, uh, trying to uh, access that, that area and prevent it from extending to the, uh, the adjoining apartment. The exact cause is still under investigation. The victim is said to be a known transient in the area. The sheriff's office says it may have been intentional. Garcia saying she may have heard what happened. Apparently, she was arguing with three men, and the brother said that he thinks one of those guys put her in flames. Four kittens also involved in that fire. They are now safe at the cat house on the Kings, the cat sanctuary, saying this makes a good reminder as kittens start popping up more in the county. Here are those kittens. They are getting some much needed food. Cat House says it's this time of year they get swamped with calls of abandoned kittens, averaging about 20 calls a day. When we stop by, we're told they already took in three litters worth of kittens just for today. Now, how much they can take depends on the space and how much support they get. The director of Cat House on the Kings says spaying and neutering cats is the best way to avoid an overpopulation and that there are multiple options. For $20 spays and neuters, and there are other places where you can get low-cost spay and neuter. But the only way we're going to stop this from happening is if we fix these animals. The kittens are going to stay at the cat house for at least four more weeks until they're at least two pounds. They'll then be sent to a rescue or put up for adoption.